I'm in Eindhoven in the Netherlands at the Milestone House, which was printed and rented out. The tenants are moving in in August, and I'm lucky enough that today the door is open and a host is inside who gave us a look around and said I was allowed to film and take some pictures. So we're going to take a look through the house today and take a look at some of the things that really make this building unique. For starters, you can see the wall structure, the way it curves into the roof, almost resembles a boulder. This is one of five planned units that all have a very natural look to them. It's quite unique and different from other types of architecture. Instead of trying to conform to traditional methods, demonstrating some of the qualities of 3D printing in the building. They did a really nice job finishing it. It's one of the few fully finished, fully functional printed houses that have been completed. This project was done by Weber Bemix, who's located here in Eindhoven. So now we're in the kitchen and the far wall, all of the exterior walls, are 3D printed and they left the layers raw to showcase the architectural methods for building this house. The rest of the walls, the kitchen black splash, the wallpaper behind me is kind of more typical so that you don't feel overwhelmed by the printed elements of this house. The elements are not joined together so it's not a monolithic structure. I believe they were built with a robotic arm and so each one was built one at a time. This leads to less cracking because you don't have the issues you would have on a monolithic structure. Each space, each element has room to expand and shrink uh, on a very small scale due to just temperature changes. This is a two bedroom house that has two bathrooms. And although by American standards it might not be huge, the rounded walls make it feel very spacious. The master bedroom is a really clever design. It has this obtuse angle from the far corner. And so there's this natural kind of dressing room area and then cabinets over here. And it's very untraditional, but also quite comfortable. Then here you have the smaller bedroom, which features maybe a room for a children's bed. Could even have a bunk bed in here. Just small accent 3D printed walls, less than 30% of the wall space in each room is really occupied by it. And <laughs> even put in this typewriter to demonstrate maybe how far technology has come from the past to today. It's a really clever juxtaposition. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep bringing content like this to you. I'll try to continue visiting all of the most cutting edge 3D printed construction projects in the world. And if you have any other ideas of other construction automation technologies I should cover, let me know in the comments.